following in the tradition of great movie duos, Laurel and Hardy, De Niro and Pacino, Batman and Robin. Suffolk Movie Productions proudly presents Nat and McGruff on vacation. So partner, after a year's worth of hard work and another successful national night out, we finally get to take some time off. So what are two great crime fighters like us going to do for our much-deserved vacation? Mm -hmm. Cruise to Hawaii? Mm -hmm. What about Vegas? Mm -hmm. What about visiting your favorite kennel? Mm -hmm. Maybe. So what do we do? Let's, Let's do, do a, a Suffolk staycation. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Is making music with my friends, and I can't wait to get on the road again. Man, er, um, road again. dog, th this is great. On the open the road touring our favorite city of Suffolk, Virginia, been. this place we call home is truly something Seeing special. Did you know that Suffolk was named one of America's 100 best small cities to live for 2010 by CNN Money Magazine? Suffolk is 430 square miles in size and home to over 82,000 residents. It's growing and becoming the place to be in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia. No wonder Suffolk has won first place two years in a row for National Night Out in our population category. We've got a great city that truly knows the meaning of giving crime a going away party. And we know how to get the word out on how special National Night Out in Suffolk truly is. With our 2010 Project 365 theme of Suffolk 2010, A Safe Odyssey. We were certainly ready for everything in store for our year's worth of National Night Out preparations. Hey, let's stop here at the Suffolk Municipal Building in good old downtown Suffolk. Lots of great downtown memories. Remember when we kicked off our 2010 National Night Out plans with a preview of our 2009 video? Man, good times, good times. Yeah, it's hard to believe it really takes a year to plan and build for National Night Out, but I'm of the mindset if you're going to do something, do it right. I couldn't have barked it better. I couldn't have been prouder than when we went before the Suffolk City Council to break the good news that we had won first place in the nation for the second year in a row. It's good to note our success, but our message was more of, let's get ready to do it again. You can't go anywhere in Suffolk without residents knowing what National Night Out is all about. That's when you know you've hit on something big, when your message is there before you are. That's doggone right. And speaking of my furry compatriots, we were honored to have Bullseye himself. That's right, the world famous Target mascot. Visit Suffolk's Target Warehouse distribution site and all of his friends at City Hall. Our national sponsor couldn't have been more proud about our continued success with National Night Out. It was a great way to end 2009 and jump right into 2010. Well, after that short walk, here we are at the wonderful Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts. That fountain has me thinking. Down, boy, down. The reason we're here is to reminisce on how we started our 2010 National Night Out countdown with a bevy of events where we had a chance to spread the message of NNO. And away we go.
It seems like you have all the fun. Out there mixing and mingling with your fans, telling everyone about National Night Out. Must be nice. I told you that when you're part of the Suffolk National Night Out Committee, your work never stops. You and I are part of a team, a select group of individuals who strive to keep National Night Out in the forefront of everyone's minds. Remember the night of June the 3rd? That's when the committee really stepped forward with a community kickoff event to get the NNO ball rolling. The committee gathered to put together party boxes for that night's presentation. Lots of communities, neighborhood watch groups, and civic leagues came out to get the party box and to sign up to be part of National Night Out 2010. That event started a run of activities where Suffolk's National Night Out Committee was involved, including the first annual Suffolk Youth Achievement Awards, which recognized some of the best of what young Suffolk had to offer. Also, you had the Suffolk Police Department taking part in the Virginia Special Olympics Torch Run, where some of our city's finest stretched their legs to help a great cause. Don't forget about the Youth Public Safety Academy, where I made a special appearance along with your cousin, Sparky, Suffolk's fire and rescue mascot. It was a fun day to spend time with some youth and highlight staying safe and, of course, National Night Out. Ah, Constance Wharf Park and Marina. We sure had some fun here this summer, didn't we? Yes, we did. That TGIF duck race sure was something special, wasn't it? Not only did we have a special National Night Out booth, but we put some of our little feathered friends in the water for a swim. Some of those guys could really do the duck stroke. Uh, why don't you leave the humor to me? Yeah, that was our annual event, which has really taken flight. Those ducks sure quack me up when they put their best web foot forward. Knock it off before I make you duck. Okay, 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 moving on. I think it was the next morning where the first annual Suffolk on the Move event sprinted out of the gates. The one-mile fun run and 5K walk run marked the start of a year-long campaign to inspire and encourage Suffolkians of all ages to become more active. Let's see. All of those events took us through June. Now on to July, where the temperatures heated up almost as much as National Night Out talk around the city. You bet. We were back before City Council in mid-July to remind them that August the 3rd was right around the corner. The National Night Out Committee and yours truly handed out party bags to the council on live television. Police Chief Thomas Bennett let the council know what we had planned for the big night and invited them to take part. And to top it off, Sunday, August the 1st was National Night Out Sunday, where church congregations were asked to join together as one and pray for our youth, communities, our military, and the law enforcement officers who protect us. That same afternoon, it was a National Kids Day pre-National Night Out pep rally. This was an event with plenty of support from our local public safety partners. There were child safety seat inspections, canine and bicycle safety demos, state-of-the-art child identification program, and lots of helpful safety information. So where does that leave our story? Let's see. National Night Out preparations done? Check. The City of Suffolk ready for National Night Out? Check. Business partners on board? Check. Okay, we're ready for the big night. But what about the new public safety center? That's right. Since our NNO theme was Suffolk 2010, a safe odyssey, we decided to build a small little fire station. Small if you consider a 25,000 square foot triple purpose facility small. The new Kings Fork Public Safety Center served as the host site for this year's National Night Out kickoff event. The Suffolk Police Department Blue Notes Band warmed up the crowd for the big night. In total, over 60 areas had National Night Out parties, a record number for the city. So how did it all look? Well, here's a taste.
With the night of National Night Out said and done, we took time to recognize our community partners with an appreciation and award ceremony. Bethlehem Ruritan Club was recognized as the top multi-site community. Applewood Farms Homeowners Association is the top single community. The Greater Oakland Chuckatuck Civic League was first place in the rookie category. And the Suffolk News Herald was tabbed as the top business. Our little vacation trip down memory lane was great. But, you know, I seem to recall a certain someone who tried to steal our secrets last year. Whatever happened to that guy? <laughs> Dummit, Junior, I think we made a bad turn back there. Sorry, boss, but GPS broke. And they ain't never gonna pick us up if you don't pick up that sign. That's much better, much better. Why don't you climb on in and we'll see if we can help you out. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. Junior, get the bags. I think we struck all. McGruff, let's make some room for our new friends. <laughs> Better get my hat, Junior. There you go. So, fellas, what do you think our chances are of a three-peat and bringing the first place trophy back to Suffolk again this year? I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't.